Yeah, it's not the greatest day out there, but can you hear the birds? <laughs> That's the sound of summer birds. Summer's still coming. <laughs> it didn't decide to go away. It's still cold out though. Anyway, I'm going to come in and quickly chat. I just got back from doing um, HIT, doing um, interval training on a seawall with my fancy little interval timer vibrating in my hand, um, making me go when I was supposed to go. Um, I got inspired to do that. I wasn't going, going to do that. I was just going to go for a basic run because I'm feeling a little grouchy lately. <laughs> and um, But I got inspired from a blog post I read about sprinting, so I... Um, decided what the heck, I'll just do what I'm supposed to do because today, today was supposed to be an interval day so I was like, okay, fine, I'll just do it. Um, and I try to tap back into that whole thing with me where I know that after I do it, I'm going to feel great and I'll be in a better mood and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'm just going to persevere and go do it. So uh, I did it and um, didn't love it. And at the end, still didn't feel like I wanted to feel like that whole endorphin rush, I feel great, life is beautiful, everything's flowers and roses and yeehaw, let's go attack this life. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get that effect this time, um, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't do it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it makes you feel better, but sometimes it only makes you feel better because now you don't regret having not done it. <laughs> sometimes, you know, like... If I, don't, if I didn't go do it today, I took the day off, even though I sh really shouldn't have it, because I did take Saturday and Sunday off. Um, if I hadn't done it today, because my brain just wasn't in it, um, I would have suffered the remainder of the day with guilt and regrets. And again, tomorrow maybe it would have hurt even more, right? So, um, yeah, no regrets. No, I didn't regret it, so um, it still was worth it <laughs> in the end to get it done. Um, and that's more or less all I really had to say today. Um, I spent, um, well actually that's not true, I spent, I spent the Easter weekend at, out with the nephews and eating a little bit too much commercially made chocolate and uh, you know Easter, that e plastic -y chocolate Easter bunny stuff with the kids because every time they find something they don't like they give it to me. Here Auntie Jackie, here you want some chocolate? Oh thanks for your cast off kid, sure I'll eat that. Um, anyway so <laughs> Um, and then, of course, big Easter dinner with my brother and his family and all that stuff. So um, I did wind up spending Monday sort of, I jumped on a scale and went, oh my God, <laughs> what have I done? Uh, so I spent Monday fasting, um, just having a quick fast. And on that note, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I'm actually going to be interviewing Brad Pilon, uh, the author of East Stop Eat, uh, which is all about the science of intermittent fasting and how do you, you can use it for weight loss and all that stuff. I'll be interviewing him in a couple of days, so I'll make sure it's up here on the blog once it's done. So um, make sure you check back in a few days for that. All right, now that's all I've got to say. So anyway, even when you don't feel like doing it, do it anyway, because then you'll have no regrets and nothing will haunt you for the rest of the day, right? All right, that's it. I'll see you soon. Take care.